want to show you my new profile picture on my old Twitter account. Ante todo quiero enseñaros mi nueva foto de perfil sobre mi antiguo sobre mi antigua cuenta de Twitter. I repeat, the old Twitter con account is because Bitcoin Dog blocked cryptocurrency cat, so I opened a new account. Repito, um, el, el antiguo es porque he abierto nuevo cuenta de Twitter porque Bitcoin Dog ha bloqueado cryptocurrency cat. You are welcome to follow me. Normally, I follow back. Estáis bienvenidos de seguirme. Normalmente sigo de vuelta. The text of the picture, Justice, JCCVW, abbreviation for Justice, Court Comedy in Virtual Worlds. And... Um, Bueno, el texto, justicia, interrogatorio, um, JCCWW es la abreviación por justicia, juzgados, comedia en mundos virtuales, como por ejemplo Second Life. And anonymous y anónimos. And down there I wrote, law is an opinion with a gun. Who has the right to judge? Who is without sin? Cast the first stone. La ley es una opinión con un arma. ¿Quién tiene el derecho de juzgar? Quien esté sin pecado que tire la primera piedra. Just want to mention that there are different Bible versions. Solo quiero mencionar que hay diferentes versiones de la Biblia. In my video number 70, I have mentioned this once before. In my video número 70, Lo he mencionado ya una vez. Uh, it's a video I really uh, re recommend to watch. Es un video de que de verdad recomiendo de ver. Es of the channel in YouTube Framing the World Prod. And the title New World Order Bible Versions. Alex Jones perverted Bible versions are key to New World Order. Uh, UN Mark of the Beast is your Bible a uh, counterfeit. Um, sí, en este canal de Framing the World brought um, Versiones pervertidas de la Biblia son clave para el nuevo orden mundial. Marca de la bestia 666 es tu Biblia una falsificación. And I wrote a comment on my video number 78. He escrito un comentario debajo de mi video número 78 uh, innovation seems I'm the only innocent crypto kitty who in the world who produces these kind of videos with translations the translation has an additional advantage even if people are not interested in learning a different language uh, la Traducción tiene una ventaja adicional, aunque la, la gente no estén interesados en aprender un nuevo idioma. It creates a thinking pause for listener who just concentrates on one of the languages and this way has more time to digest the words. 
eh, crea una pausa para pensar para el eh, quien escucha eh, quien solo quiere concentrarse en un idioma y de esta manera tiene más tiempo para digestir las palabras. You are welcome to translate and remix my videos. They are Creative Commons. Uh, estás bienvenido, bienvenida para traducir o remezclar mis videos que son Creative Commons. I wrote a comment on my video number 78. He escrito un comentario en mi video número 78. Innovation. Seems I am the only innocent crypto kitty in the world who produces these kind of videos with translations. Innovation. Parece que soy la única innocent crypto kitty en el mundo que produce videos de esta manera con traducción. The translation has an additional advantage even if people are not interested in learning a different language. La traducción tiene una ventaja adicional aunque las personas no estén interesados en aprender uh, otro idioma. It creates a thinking pause for a listener who just concentrates on one of the languages and this way has more time to digest the words. Crea una pausa para pensar para el quien escuche que solo quiere concentrarse en un idioma y de esta manera tiene más tiempo para digerir las palabras. You are welcome to translate and remix my videos. They are creative commons. Estás bienvenido para traducir o remezclar mis videos que son Creative Commons. I made a video before about procrastination, but it's only in Spanish, uh, the video number 56. He hecho un video antes sobre procrastinación, eh, solo en español, el video número 56. Procrastination and to-do list. Procrastinación y lista de tareas por hacer. Actually, I have two to-do lists. En realidad, tengo dos listas por, de tareas por hacer. The first one, the daily to-do list are things uh, which are repetitive. La primera lista de tareas por hacer es la lista de tareas de de cosas diarias o repetitivas and I told myself to try to produce one video per day y me dije de intentar de producir un video al día If you know my channel, you know that I have tried different methods to produce videos. Si conoces mi canal de YouTube, sabes que he intentado diferentes maneras para producir videos. Now lately, I prefer to just talk without further preparation. Últimamente prefiero solo hablar sin uh, gran preparación anterior. But there was a time I like to write everything before. Pero había un tiempo que quería to hacer to preparar todo por escrito. 
and and it accumulated and I didn't cap keep up with producing videos y se ha acumulado y no conseguí hacer uh, todos los videos so I want to go back in time and recover this uh, what I wrote on especially on Google Plus Google Plus Así que quiero volver atrás en tiempo y recuperar lo que he escrito, sobre todo en Google+. Plus. Ok, I could go, go much further in time because there was long time between about March 2014, yeah, and um, October or something. Don't remember September um, that I wrote very much on Twitter and didn't make videos. En realidad podría volver mucho más atrás. Había un tiempo que mucho tiempo que no hice videos entre marzo 2014 y algo de septiembre o algo. Actually, I stopped writing. Oh, I stopped that method of preparing videos because once I had one post or maybe more or less the last really post. So now I'm on Google Plus. Just recover some stuff. If you like, put some music because most of this thing. Okay, this one I should read loud in Spanish. It's like a comedy. JCCVW uh, just discord comedy in virtual worlds. The Comedia de Juzgados. El juez dice. Se abre el juicio de asuntos infernales. Video number 52. Video, video número 52. 
um, like uh, the um, with uh, like with Simpsons, como con los Simpsons. Se abre el juicio de asuntos infernales. Usted es acusada por homicidio. ¿Homicidio? Perdón, me he equivocado de caso. Vuelvo a empezar. Usted es acusada por criticar el movimiento Crea Cultura de A3 Media. ¿Quiere decir algo? Innocent Crypto Kitty dice. En primer lugar, ¿cómo se atreve a acusarme? Mi nombre de pila es Innocent Crypto Kitty. Soy inocente. Esta ley de la propiedad intelectual es la mayor perversidad que he visto jamás. No crea cultura, sino inhibe la innovación y la creatividad. Y sobre todo, la libertad de expresión es silenciada por esa ley perversa. Muchos canales en YouTube han sido bloqueados o YouTube aprovecha para no pagar a los canales. Dicen que la entre comillas piratería es como robar. Si te roban una rueda de tu coche ya no puedes conducir. Si la copian sigues conduciendo, pero siguen condenando la idea de copiar. Entonces no deberían haber copiado la idea de la rueda original. Así que todos los coches y todo lo que uh, tengo, tengan ruedas no tienen derecho de existencia. Y además, si de verdad quieres ser inocente, mejor deja de conocer porque podrías atropellar a alguien que es mucho peor. Y otra cosa más perversa aún. Debería estar prohibido de echar pedos porque podría sonar como un pedo de una persona famosa y tiene derecho, que tiene derecho de autor y quiere comprarse la segunda isla con ayuda de este sistema corrupto y perverso. Fuck your intellectual property. Simpsons. Bueno, en realidad ya he hecho eh, un video parecido. A este que es unlisted, que no está en la lista, espera el número. En el vídeo número 54 que voy a poner para que recuerdo si tal vez quiero hacer este vídeo un poco mejorcito. Voy a pegar este texto ahí abajo para que lo vuelva a encontrar. Eh, el link al video número 54. The very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret society, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. We decided long Full of lies and yet we always forgive them, huh? It's all conspiracy and if defeated in a witch You're the puppet, the government's pulling strings from above you It's time for the introduction to truth and let's start a movement We've all been brainwashed, they believe that we all are stupid We believe in what we see and whatever our ears are hearing But if you look close, listen, gather your own opinion You'll understand all the lies, lines and what's between them This world is not your oyster, this world is a fucking prison Come on! To what's happening in our nation No one will stand up for the fear of assassination So they strip us of everything We stand there and just take it We're scared to make a stand a false flag operation Research Illuminati Find out by 9-11 You see they line their pockets Don't believe the lies they tell you Find to see the truth Just to keep up appearances Within Christianity Stay strong and they try to shut us down or turn around, let us storm them. We got the warnings, let us march from the morning through the night. We gon' fight and close the eye and overthrow all these damn secret societies. Right underneath all our eyes, this whole time realize we've been deceived and they're trying to defeat.
Okay, this I should read. Another way doesn't make sense because you hear, have to hear that. Really want to hear the sound of the bear whale? Just last night I got my memory refreshed about what happened one week ago by the famous TV program here in Spain called Cuarto Milenio. They talked about Baralisis del Sueño. I often had some kind of dream or nightmare that I wanted to talk or scream, but my voice won't come out. One week ago I was very nervous because a neighbor phoned me so often because of suicide fantasies. The worst night I had that nightmare again, but finally I was able to use my voice and I woke up with this strange and bare well sound. <laughs> I'm not sure about which of the three languages I use to think in my dreams at night. So this is a sound to be understood in every language. Later I thought this is the perfect answer to so many annoying phone calls I almost never answered, but still made me nervous. Now I think it's better to let people know how fed up a person feels. At least they lose the money for the connection of the phone call. Then to just make me nervous at free cost. Anyway, I feel like wanting to throw my phone and of course the alarm clock out of the window into the swimming pool. By the way, I still want to sell my apartment in Gran Canaria. Once I came home and I wanted to enter into my apartment, but I saw from far away that there was someone in front of my door who seemed to be more interested in me than in buying my apartment. I didn't want to talk with him, so I hoped he would leave soon, but he kept waiting in front of my door for more than an hour. If you really feel so attracted to come in front of my door just by my apartment, then you can stay in there forever and ever and ever and ever. Capisce? I promise not to block people on social media like Bitcoin dog block cryptocurrency cat or innocent crypto kitty that I changed my name because I prefer people to contact me this way than to start screaming and banging on my door without invitation or bothering me on the phone. Anyway, now I finally I found that fast bear well sound answer to piss them off. Going back to that TV program of last night, later they talked about another creepy so topic. El tráfico de órganos, organ trafficking. If I think about these horror stories, it confirms even more my opinion that I prefer to avoid direct confrontation, confrontations and focus on creating soul trade game which is an open source P2P RPG game, role playing game in virtual worlds, for example SL Second Life. At the moment my video Manos Enigma number 17 has most information, soon I'll translate it into Spanish. You are welcome to follow me on Soul Trade Game 2 on Twitter and Facebook. I really prefer creating videos than answering the phone. First of all, I don't want to repeat the same story thousand and one times and anyway, it seems many people forget what I said immediately or simply they don't understand me. So why should I waste my time? We both have at last one thing in common. Our mother language is not English. Maybe using another language opens the mind a little. At night I like to have a look at the stars, by the way. 
the sky here in Gran Canaria is almost always without clouds. In one of my next videos I'll tell you about my journey to another planet. Ah, I was like a science fiction story. I still didn't. Well, maybe later. Commented on this video towards innovation and progress. Episode 152 of Let's Talk Bitcoin. This video I liked very much too. Um, the title Understanding the Legal Name. Um, very important and interesting info. Ah, yeah, no, it's not Creative Commons. Um, hey, what's up, everybody? This is Barn on 11970, and thank you as always for watching my video. All right, guys. I want to get into a little bit more about the legal name so people can understand where this is coming from. Because this part that we've discovered. Maybe I translate that into Spanish. Um, uh, this video is of the same channel. His name is Barnone. 11970 but this at least is creative commons this is uh, the longer version uh, of that video this is really good about especially the legal legal name and this one too uh, this channel of the light workers media I appreciate very much most of them um, outside the box, uh, Kate of Gaia. Uh, they are all, uh, almost all, I think, are Creative Commons. So you are free to remix these videos. No name, no game, rhyme, rap, gothic, comedy, tribes. I made that video in Spanish. Looking for a way to accuse people. Suicide accusations of crime against creation. Uh, really good channel. This. Uh, Light workers media outside the box, Kate of Gaia, and especially the video Babylon is Fallen. Funny pick of Katzilla. <laughs> ah, this is the video I got inspiration to create CCBP Canarias Crypto Bitcoin P2P a Tennessee Bitcoin Alliance And uh, I don't know, sometimes uh, 
there is more text I wrote, but um, I can't even click on read more. This is another disadvantage of Google+. Plus. This is the first uh, original um, I wrote from Es el dibujo original de CCBP Canarias. Uh, I commented on a video, give me control of a nation's money and I care not who makes its laws, uh, said a Rothschild. And this uh, of Coinbrief is uh, Creative Commons too. I appreciate this channel too. Yeah, really, I should read that loud. That's one more disadvantage of fiat money, state money. The cash. It has virus, bacteria in this age of Ebola. One more reason to use crypto, Bitcoin, P2P. And uh, I created CCBP, Canarias, Crypto, Bitcoin, P2P Technology and DCBP, Deutschland. Tal vez deberíamos todos mantener silencio y no hacer nada porque todo lo que digamos o hacemos podría ser utilizado en contra de nosotros ante un tribunal de justicia o más bien un tribunal de corrupción. Me cuesta esfuerzo de mantener la boca cerrada a veces y a otras veces me canso de repetir lo mismo. Así que visita mi canal de YouTube, eh, Vanos en Ima. commented on this video with, with a reference to Bitcoin and use my legal name or the real name to translate for them to ask one of the friends to find out of women one prefer that people think about it. Mm -hmm. And after this one, I will read a post, um, which was, this post violates our policy. It's visible only to you. I'm starting to feel pissed off from writing posts on Google+. Plus. I have no idea which rule I have broken. Maybe my post was too long or I repeated too often the word cryptocurrency. And maybe I used too many hashtags or the bitter truth might be interpreted as hate speech. I guess I'll go back to Twitter and YouTube, of course. YouTube, of course. Why can't other people see my post? The content in this post violates the 
Google Plus user content and conduct policy. Both that man contains spam such as unwanted promotional and commercial commercial content or unwanted or mass solicitations are not appropriate on Google Plus. Offensive or rep repetitive posts are not appropriate either. If you think you've made a mistake about your post, please submit this post for review. If your review determines this post does confor conform to our policies, we'll make it visible to others again. Fuck. Otherwise, this post will stay visible only to you and we will delete it in a few weeks. Okay, till now at least they didn't delete it. Um, it's written on October 22nd and today is November 18th. Uh, I commented on a video, can't believe my eyes, this video is 8 hours long of um, the Bitcoin group, I think, wait a minute. Mad Bitcoins TV live stream number two. Referring to minute seven, I am a big advocate for cryptocurrency, but my prediction without betting, because it's really not what I like, is the following. New world order is going to force people into a one world currency, which will be based on a certain type of state cryptocurrency. It will convince many people because of security reasons. The private key will be in a type of RFID chip like Obamacare or I think this is what the Bible predicts in Revelation. Mark of the Beast, Democracy, Tyranny of the Majority. There are not many people who can explain the truth as God as Bitcoin Dog and in addition know several languages. Why don't they create some videos like I did because there are many people who are much more interested in learning languages than strange, so strange sounding technology. For example, my video, Vanos Enigma, number 20, Espanol, English, Deutsch, Copyright, Propiedad Intellectual. I be and soon I'll create a new video to explain yeah, I did that already. I think it's number 74, I think. Um, and you're in, invited on my Facebook pages. Print, I printed this advertisement with the text, Learn Languages Free, Do You Know Bitcoin? And translating into other another Language sometimes helps to rethink if there are better words to explain things. We should use more the hashtag P2P. I included it into my two projects, DCBP and CCBP, Canarias Crypto Bitcoin P2P, because it's much more than the nature of Cryptocurrency, it is a nice and short hashtag to describe decentralization. I'm starting to feel pissed off from writing posts on Google+. Plus. I have no idea which rule I have broken. Maybe my, past, my post was too long or I repeated too often the word cryptocurrency. Maybe I used too many hashtags or the bitter truth might be interpreted as hate speech. I guess I'll go back to Twitter and YouTube, of course, like always, and just read this content and 
conduct policy of Google Plus. User content and conduct policy. Our policies play an important role in maintaining a positive experience for our users. Please follow these policies when using our products and services. When we are notified of a potential policy violation, we may review and take action, including limiting or terminating a user's account and to our services. We may modify these policies, so please check back here. Also, when applying our policies, we may make exceptions based on artistic, educational or documentary considerations, or when there are other substantial benefits to the public from not taking action. First point. Illegal activities. Do not use our products to engage in illegal activities or promote dangerous and illeg illegal acts. Second, malicious products. Do not transmit viruses, malware or any other malicious and destructive code. Do not distribute content that harms or interferes with with the operation of the networks, service or other infra infrastructure of Google or others. Hate speech. Our products are platforms for free expression, but we don't support content that promotes or con condones violence against individuals or groups based on race or ethnic origin, religion, disability, gender, age, nationality, veteran status or sexual orientation, gender identity, or whose primary purpose is inciting hatred on the basis of these core characteristics. This can be a delicate balancing act, but if the primary purpose is to attack a protected group, the content crosses the line. Fourth point. Personal and confidential information. Do not distribute other people's personal and confidential Confidential information such as credit card numbers, confidential national ID numbers, or account passwords without their permission. 5. Account hijacking. And do not access another user's account without their permission. Do not use our products for phishing scams. Sixth point, child, child exploitation. Do not upload or share content that exploits or abuses children. This includes all child sexual abuse, Im imagery, even cartoon images, and all content that presents children in a sexual manner. We will remove such content and take appropriate action, which includes account disable and reporting to the National Center of Missing and Exploited Children, NCMEC, and law enforcement. If you find any content that you think exploits children in this manner, do not plus one reshare or comment on such content, even if your intent is to bring it to Google's attention. 
instead flag the content through the Report Abuse link. If you find content elsewhere on the Internet, please contact uh, NCMEC directly. Seventh point. Spam. Do not spam, including sending in one in unwanted promotional or commercial content or unwanted or mass solicitation. Do not aggressively add people to your circles. Eighth point. Ranking manipulation. Do not manipulate ranking or relevancy using techniques like repetit repetitive or misleading keywords or metadata. Ninth point sexually explicit material. Do not distribute content that contains nudity, graphic sex acts, or sexually explicit material. Do not drive traffic to commercial pornography sites. Your profile picture cannot include immature or offensive content. For example, do not use a photo that is a close-up of a person's buttocks or cleavage. Six, tenth point, harassment and bullying. Do not harass and bully others. Anyone using Google Plus to harass and bully may have the offending content removed or be permanently banned from this site. Online harassment is also illegal in many places and can have serious offline consequences. Eleventh point, violence. Do not distribute depictions of graphic or gratuitous violence. Twelfth point, impersonation or deceptive behavior. Do not use our products to impersonate. Thirteenth point, regulated goods and services. Google Plus is a place to discuss many topics, but not every topic is appropriate for all ages or in all countries. Because the promotion of certain products and services is heavily regulated, we have created tools to help you target your content to users of the appropriate ages in the right markets. If your content promotes regulated goods and services, including alcohol, gambling, pharmaceuticals, Calls and tobacco, fireworks, weapons, or health, medical devices. You are responsible for applying the appropriate age and geographical restrictions for that content. If we receive a complaint that such content is targeting audience as an in violation of a laws and regulations. We may remove or restrict the offending content or account. With the appropriate age and geographical restrictions in place, we allow discussions and promotion of these goods, but we do not allow the facility of the sale of the product list above. Fourteenth point. Contests and promotions. Do not run contests, sweeps, takes, 
or other such promotions directly on Google Plus, except by pre-approved means. For additional details about this policy, visit the Contests and Promotions Policy page. About our policies and terms. These policies apply generally to the content you post on our services. Some services have their own separate policies that can be found within those services and apply to your use of, term, of, your use of them. All services are governed by their applicable terms of service. Reporting and potential issues. If you encounter content or a user that you believe violates, violates these above policies, please report it to us using the report abuse link or simply a named link. Learn more about these reporting abuses. Actually, if I think now about that, maybe somebody found something they didn't like about my post. So actually, in the end, it's, it's better that I change my technique more to use the voice recorder instead of writing so much comments with my hashtag addiction yes I don't feel offended if you accuse me of having hashtag addiction I think it is a, it's a very good invention and I'm very convinced that cryptocurrency, for example Bitcoin, is the future of money. That's the main reason why I want to sell my apartment on Gran Canaria, to have money to in be able to invest. Estoy muy convencida que cryptocurrency, por ejemplo Bitcoin, es el futuro del dinero. Es la razón por, principal por la que quiero vender mi apartamento en Gran Canaria, tener dinero para poder invertir. And you are welcome on my Facebook page CCBP Canarias Crypto Bitcoin P2P. Y estáis bienvenidos en mi página de Facebook, uh, Canarias Crypto Bitcoin P2P, y and uh, on my German one, Deutschland Crypto, y en mi página alemana, Deutschland Crypto Bitcoin P2P. In my video number 74, I have explained this project. In my video numero 74, he explicado ese proyecto. Uh, these two projects, CCBP and DCBP. Uh, las, los dos proyectos, CCBP y DCBP.